Little Kitty Big City. This game is really fun and really adorable. Anyways, let's go. I've been playing this the past few days recently and it's just a nice chill game to play to be honest. And of course, super cute. And for a Switch game, it looks really good. It's got a nice art style to it. And we follow this cat who I don't believe has a name. Let's just call them a... Uh, Kitty. And Kitty falls off this apartment building. Maybe Kitty's the owner of the house. They pay the rent. And now our object objective is to get back up. But I mean, controlling a cat and being able to meow and sit, sit and stuff, it, like, it's just so cute. And they're scared of water too, which means you can't pass any puddles. Okay, who is responsible for this? Someone left this tap wanting that they're just wasting water. Well, uh, let's enter this house anyway. I guess the cat wants to get cooked now. We can even pick up stuff like these slippers. I I'm just gonna plop them down in this pool of water. I'm sure the owner would appreciate that. I don't know if they're in, like maybe we should get their attention. Oh hey, we got an achievement for being an annoying little sh- Shickle. And continue to get achievements for being an annoying little- Yeah, this game is great. Now we talk to this crow who we inadvertently attacked in midair. And they say I need to practice my flying. Sounds easy enough. For a cat, to be fair, like, what's your excuse? But first, we have our first human encounter. So let's bug him. By knocking over these paint cans. I mean, he doesn't seem to care, to be fair. Okay, I, I think he likes what I'm doing here. Yes, very artistic. He seems friendly. So let's reward that by swiping at his feet. He doesn't seem affected by it. If I can't hurt humans, what is there to live for? I'm gonna charge at him. He doesn't seem bothered by this at all. He seems sweet. L let's just leave him alone and look for other victims. Oh hey, a football. Yeah, this is quite the celebration. Jesus, okay, that, 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 this is impressive. Oh my god, how the hell do you turn in the air like that? This is not a normal cat. Maybe we can try jumping past here. I know it's there to block my path, but I don't listen to the game's laws. And the game doesn't listen to scientific laws, seeing as I can scratch the air. Oh, look, a little ducky. He's my new friend. I'm taking him with me. I mean, I don't know his name, but let's just call him, um, D Ducky. Yeah, I'm not good with names, and I'm lazy. So, Ducky and I head off until we're scared by this dog. And we find the crow again over here. But if you can't fly, how are you planning to get back up there? Could we not, like, ring the doorbell? This is my house, after all. I pay rent. So we have to climb up there. But Kitty here is apparently too hungry to climb all the way up. Okay, then go to Burger King or something. Do I have to do everything for you? It's 2024. Cat should be able to do human things. So if a friendly neighborhood crow happened to have a lovely juicy fish, you know... I think Crow would sound nice right about now, but before the Crow can give me the fish, I need to give him shinies. As in, tiny shiny objects. At this point, just eat the Crow. Dude, you can stop flapping your wings so much, is that not tiring? Or are you panicking because I said I was gonna eat you? So we have to find 25 shinies, then the Crow will give us one fish. Instead of, I don't know, going fishing? This doggy is still just barking at me. Like, he just does a single bark and then stops for a couple of seconds. Like, it's not continuous. Like, I don't know why, but something about that is just really cute. I'm just gonna respond by meowing back. Why is Kitty looking down? They look so upset. Stop, you're making me sad. Oh, oh, now they've perked up. Okay, Ducky and I are leaving. This dog is mean. And we're gonna go off and ruin some human's days. We are mean. Yep, look at that walk. He is not happy. I imagine this is how he's gonna walk for the rest of the day. I bet he goes into work, into a meeting, just walking like this. Oh, this is so fun. Hey, no, stop walking. You need to be tripped up, I cannot have humans being happy. There we go. The world is white again. Okay, that seemed completely pointless. They fall flat on their face as well, like, I'm gonna break someone's nose. Well, uh, maybe not, seeing as nobody has any noses. Okay, that lady seemed to like me, but then changed once I tripped this other lady up. And then I trip her up. She definitely hates me now. Anyways, let's take a look in this place, where we see this poor animal stuck in a vent. 
And then we get stuck inside of its body. This is disturbing. Okay, now this is disturbing. What kind of evil experiment went wrong for this to be birthed? Unfortunately, we have to put Ducky down before we can talk to them. So they're trying to get out of this pipe, which they found themselves in. It was easy to get in, so I assumed it would be exactly as easy to get out. There, there, there is a certain joke in there, but I feel a little weird making it when it's in the context of animals. Let me try one more thing. It's the exact thing you were doing before, dude. I think he's given up. Yeah, he's given up. Okay, so we have to get them out of the pipe, and it's this adorable little tanuki. Not a raccoon. Apparently he was looking for feathers, and... Okay, he's definitely a fellow game collector, that's cool. No idea who this Gekku guy is though, but he sounds interesting. But it turned out to be a normal shiny. No, oh, I, I think Kitty heard the shiny part. I did! I love to solve problems. Some animals even say I make- Dude, can you shut up? I'm trying to speak, that's so rude. He does not look impressed. How rude. Exactly! And it was Kitty saying it. They were aware they were being a dick. Wait, do you smell what the walk is cooking? Oh no, feathers. How the hell would I smell feathers? Yeah, what does a feather even smell like? Besides from uh, feathers. You have feathers somewhere about your person, I know it. Although goodness knows where you're keeping them. Yeah, by that expression, I don't think you want to ask where they're being kept. So now we need to find three feathers for Tanuki. So Ducky and I go off to look for feathers while also climbing random things, picking up shinies. Who left these things up here? Hey, wanna see a cat disappear? Okay, we're back out and tripping over more humans, and then ruining their lunch. And we find this other cat sitting on this thing. There's only room for one of us. Anyway, this cat tells us we can attack innocent birds by pouncing on them, but the birds are very cautious, so they bring up the bread proposition. The bread proposition? The bread proposition. The bread proposition. The bread proposition. Basically, get bread and pounce. Do you have any bread I can borrow? Yeah, let's just dissect them. He may have eaten some. Alas, no. Bread comes from humans, not cats. I mean, it doesn't come from humans. Humans just make it. It's not as though humans just lay bread as if they were eggs. It's in their pockets. In their briefcases. Who carries a briefcase full of bread? Well, maybe Satoshi Kojima. Anyways, I can get bread by the art of getting underfoot. Sounds like a hobbit name. Just swipe at their feet when they walk. Oh great, I'm a master of that already. Well, luckily there's some birds close by, so let's sneak up on them and... Okay, I think I have to put Ducky down, unfortunately. I wanted them to join in, though. Okay, if any of you take my precious Ducky, you're flubbing dead. You hear me? Anyway, here we go. Wow, this is dramatic. Oh god damn it! it's still got away. And now Kitty is having a tantrum. Okay, there's three here. Truly, I can catch one. And I do. And I trip up this human for good measure. Once I get two more birdies and a human in the process, I get three feathers in total, which I can now give to Tanuki. Okay, this is an intense stare. I'm scared of what they're thinking right now. So we decide to... not give him the feathers, just to be even more of a dick. Well, Ducky, off we go once again. Ow. Come on, fall over. Hell yeah, two in one go. So we head over here and we have another rude dog continuously barking. And we can't seem to get past them no matter how much we try. It's still barking. Like, how can they see me here? It's it's like they just sense my presence. Unfortunately, I can't seem to trip people up who are standing still. This lady doesn't seem to care that there's a cat walking on a fruit. That's terrible hygiene. You're wanting a business here, lady. Anyway, we talk to this cat who happens to be the mayor or something. Mayor of what? I don't know. By the looks of things, I don't think Kitty is convinced either. But they don't want to help me because it would be work. I can relate. So for the mayor to help me, I have to knock over jars of jam. Which by the looks of things, the mayor really does not like. I guess that makes sense. But when you say remove them, I mean kill them. Kill them all. Kill that lady too. Kill everyone. Oh, and uh, bring me a cupcake when you finish, please. Thank you. Now we're messing up this lady's laptop for funsies. I don't know what Kitty's doing, but probably installing malware. She doesn't even seem to care. She's just acting like I'm not even here. Look at that. She's not even touching the laptop. She's just tapping her fingers on the table. She clearly doesn't own this store. She's probably just an intern pretending to do work. 
Oh, really? You really don't know how that thing fell over? Well, we knock over all the jars of jam, which are stored on these high places for some reason. This is terrible organization for the store. Look at this stance. I mean, this is impressive. Kitty's even floating in midair. It's a magic kitty. Put them in the circus. This is a great act. Perfect. The mayor can now slumber. You weren't even looking at them, they were behind you. So the only help the mayor gives me is teaching me how to say yuck to things. Very valuable skills, I must say. Now the mayor just goes back to sleep. Or at least they try to. I'm gonna keep trying to get their attention. I mean, this is white in their ear. Like, what a heavy sleeper. That's how I feel about you. Alright, we go back here and get scared by... Uh, something. A ghost? I guess. There's nothing here. But we do find this little ball which has a banana hat in it. Who left this here? For when I need to make like a banana and split. You are banned from here forever. Look how cute Kitty is though. And let's not forget about Ducky. Okay, we then do some platforming and find this fan extract. I feel like this should be blowing me up in, in the air. Like this is a video game. Oh hey, more shinies. And another one. No, come on, I just jumped over it. Oh well, I'm taking my frustrations out on you. Okay, second try, let's be more careful. Oh come on, even that didn't work, my god. Oh, but I get an achievement for tripping this person over. Well that makes me feel better knowing I'm a menace to society. Okay, one last try. God damn it, so close. And now we have this defeated fall to the ground. Well, we're now in someone else's garden, I guess. And we found a nice place to nap. Oh, now isn't this lovely? So beautiful. Kitty, come on, you're ruining the moment! Hey, another achievement for being a complete dick. Now my life is complete. So we then talk to this chameleon who doesn't realize he's not invisible. Are you a magician? Oh, he is. I mean, you can tell with the hat. It lets other magicians know I'm patrolling the area. It also gives away where you are because even if you were invisible, you would just see a floating magician's hat. I'm so good at disguising myself that I can even make my words disappear. Wow, that's impressive. I wonder what he was saying originally. It's a good thing I don't know what it was, because if it was about Ducky, I may just have to murder someone. But if you're a master of camouflage, how come I can see you? Quite. D no, dude, that was a question. Perhaps it's to do with your eyes being so weird. Hey! No need to go body shaming, that, that's not cool. Well, for a start, they're on the front of your face. That's weird. Okay, now you're just being mean. I, I don't like you. And they don't seem to stick out at all. They're white inside your head. Taking up valuable brain room. You know, that's a good point. Probably why I'm so stupid. It's not me, it's just my eyes. However, if your weird inferior eyes are truly immune to my vanishing act, I'll have you know I have a vanishing act of my own. Look, I disappeared. Then I have finally met a worthy opponent. What, are we gonna fight each other? I must learn to outsmart your weird eyes. Oh, okay, stop calling my eyes weird. I challenge you to find me again, cat. Okay, there you are. So, now we have to find this chameleon again in... Okay, the construction site. Your brain teaser wasn't that much of a tease for my eye brain. Okay, after that, we're back off exploring with Ducky. And maybe now we should give those feathers to Tanuki. But of course, we're gonna go ruin some more humans' days and hopefully lives along the way. So now we've given Tanuki the feathers, they open up this portal using the feathers. Okay, they're, they're the wheel magician, not that chameleon. Neat portal, huh? Guess where it goes? Hell. It goes to hell. I'm going to hell. You're a demon. It's magic. No, it's dark magic. And that means it's now part of the pet work. Trademark. Oh, he's a corporate CEO. He is a demon. The only thing is, it only goes over that fence. Y have, have you heard of doors? Okay, why the hell can't I take Ducky with me? This is unacceptable. I'm gonna leave Ducky here. And if anything happens to him, it will be your head. So, off we go. Okay, never mind, this isn't the portal. Kitty has just taken some dodgy brownies. Well, this doesn't look good. Well, it's completely dark and smells exciting. That doesn't sound right at all. Let me consult my feedback questionnaire. Okay, here's some feedback. Your idea is sh Shickle. Is test subject in possession of own eyeballs? 
That's the first question? Y yeah you haven't tested this at all? You know what, I'm gonna say no to the eyeballs, why not? Is test subject in possession of all necessary limbs? Yeah, that's a good point. There are unnecessary limbs. Seems like the test subject is becoming uncooperative. In other words, you don't like the feedback, so you're gonna ignore it. I see how it is. Okay, well, we ended up in the trash can somehow. I just need to fine-tune the arrival system a little. Or just redo the entire project over again before someone dies or loses any unnecessary limbs. But Kitty brings up a good point about coming back. The return journey. Which there clearly isn't one. Oh my god, this is just great. And what's worse, is that Ducky is still stuck on the other side. I've been separated from Ducky, this, this is terrible. How will I go on? What did I even hit there? I ran into the air. Oh look, a shiny. Oh great. I don't care, I want Ducky back. Well, uh, let's see if we can get out through this construction site. Oh look, another human. Let's trip him up. Oh my god, oh my god, he's a monster. He's gonna kill me. Okay, I'm coming back in. N never mind, I'm leaving. I'm back. Yeah, I'm just ruining this guy's day. Okay, go, get away from him. Did he really lose me? You saw me jump in here, what is wrong with you? But good news is, we found a way to get out, and we're now reunited with Ducky. All is right in the world. Oh god, the scary human is back. Ah god, he got me again. I dropped Ducky! You monster, don't take me away from Ducky. I, I hate you. I'm gonna sue you, I tell you. You'll be hearing from my lawyers. You'll have a meowntain of legal troubles. I... I'm sorry, I really am. I'll leave. Oh wow, he somehow didn't get me. Ledges are my friend. Yay, we got Ducky back. And now we head up here, where we're met by this flying thing. I don't actually know what this animal is supposed to be. So let's just call him, um... Ducky 2. So Ducky 2 is upset because their phone got covered in concrete and isn't usable anymore. They're freaking out because they're gonna get fired even though their boss doesn't even pay them. Okay, we have another unpaid intern. Spread the wealth, you greedy corporations. Yeah, I'm looking at you, Mr. Petwork Trademark. And their boss is apparently Taffy the Cat. This cat. I hate Taffy. I'm better in every way and so is Ducky. So now we have to get Ducky 2 a new phone. Oh, come on, I almost had that one. It would be easier if I let Ducky down, but no, he needs to come with me. Now I need to find someone else with a phone. But I'm still gonna trip everybody else up just to feel better about myself. Why won't you fall down? There we go, now I'm happy. Okay, quickly, get the phone. Damn it! Okay, I need to put Ducky down in order to do this. Which I end up doing. And if you steal Ducky, I will steal your eyeballs. And now I'm gonna have this cat babysit Ducky while I take this phone to Ducky too. Okay, he, he didn't seem to care. I went back in, I think he just accepted me for who I am. How nice. And as a reward for replacing their phone, I get to keep the old phone, which can only take photos. But it's still, it's cool. Of course, I don't understand how everything else doesn't work and only the camera. Must be a strong camera. But let's take some photos now. Because somehow this phone flies, I guess, and we can go anywhere. Whoa, okay, that is a disturbing shot. Something's not right there. Oh dear god, Kitty is absolutely terrifying, I hate this. This has turned into a horror game. I mean, this photo could be easily used for horror. At least we get a closer look at this cute thing. Oh god, not that close, now it's not cute. Alright, now we need to take a nice picture of Ducky. He'll be so happy. Thank you for taking care of him, by the way. Look at this stud. Truly a handsome fellow. I'm framing these on my wall. Okay, now a picture of the whole family. There we go, that's nice. Well, I think we'll end this episode here. This game is honestly really fun and uh, just a really chill game to play. And of course, it's super adorable. I really like it. It's available on the Switch and if you, if you want to play it, by the way. Uh, but I think you can, you can also get it on the Xbox and PC too, if you wish. I, I definitely recommend trying it out though, it's really cool. Anyways, if you enjoyed that, feel free to subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care.